full laughing rouge. <laughs> Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Marks and Booze Views. Somebody the other day messaged me and said they can see the beer on the channel, they can see the bikes on the channel, but they can't see any bands. So just for you, here's some of the bands. That was a band I played with, uh, was it last year? Done a few depths with them. And uh, they were a metal covers band, and I really enjoyed it. Um, anyway, let's get back to the beer. This is a bottle of Fault Lapin Rouge. There's not much information about this at all. To be honest, I've done a bit of research on it, but can't really find anything. The brewery website, I have to say, is very poor. Um, it doesn't go in depth into what the actual beers are, certainly not in English anyway. And um, all I know is that they, they're based in Bruges. I'm sure I must have gone past that place. I've been to Bruges so many times and I've, I've walked around there and drank in many of the bars there. And uh, I've, I've never noticed it before, much to my shame. So I really do know very little about this brewery. Well, if you don't know, just say so. Just don't stand it like a bag of cement, boy. But I see them available on beers of Europe and I thought I'd give them a go. Um, Rouge, I'm imagining, is some sort of fruit beer. That's the only thing I can glean from the description. But all will be revealed when I check this beer out. Mr. Magoo will get his bins on and see what is going on here. Right, this is a 330ml bottle. It's 6.5% Rouge beer, Belgian Rouge beer. Um, these beers are brewed with only Belgian hops. They make a, they do make a point about saying that they were only using Belgian hops in these beers, so that is interesting. Um, the only brewery I thought was in um, Bruges was the Half Man Brewery or Half Man. I don't know how it's pronounced, but the Half Moon Brewery, the, the one that bre brews um, Zot. But now that I know there's two. That'll be another one on the list for when I go over there, when all this virus bullshit is over. Anyway, let's get this open and let's see what's going on. Right, the cap is plain red. Nothing to see here. On the nose, out of the bowl. Wow, immediately, lovely. Sweet, spicy fruit. Mmm. Like orangey. Bit of citrus. Some pepper. And coriander. And some clove as well. Mmm. It does smell interesting. Let's get it in the glass. Now, the glass. Here's a good, um, here's a good point. I'm going to use a tulip glass. There is nothing on the website to say which glass this should be served in, so I'm assuming, rather than a chalice, I'll just put it into this. So here goes. I've read this is bottle conditioned. So, wow, well, I'm getting nice fruity aromas, even from this distance. Fairly lively, sort of two and a half finger, white head, white foamy head on the nose. Lovely, lovely fruit, citrusy fruit. It's almost like a, 
like a triple. Yeah, it's, um, I'm pretty much winging it here, to be honest, because I'm really not sure. I know they say it's rouge, but yeah, look at that, that's nice and hazy. There's a fair bit of carbonation on there as well. Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. That's a good one. I really like that. Let me get the rest of it in there. Right, as I said before, there is a lot of fruity notes on that. Um, immediately you're getting like orangey, zesty type notes. And then there's a hell of a lot of spice on this as well. I'm getting like a pepper, clove, little touch of banana as well. Um, some very slight coriander. And all in all, it is super drinkable. No trace of spirit alcohol, even though it's 6.5%, which is reasonably strong. There's no uh, no spirit alcohol on that whatsoever. It's lovely. Typical Belgian. Almost like a Belgian vet, but not quite. Um, I don't know what it is, but it is reminding me of the Zot, the Bruges Zot. But more drinkable, if you can imagine that. It's very smooth. There's no big, big flavors that make you wanna savor this. This is just a, a nice quaffable beer, Belgian beer. And it does taste like a, a, sort of a, a cross between a Belgian blonde and a Vit beer, if you can imagine that. I really like it. Why it's called Rouge, I don't know. Rouge would put me in mind of like a fruit beer, or like a, a raspberry, strawberry, or even cherry flavored fruit beer, but it's not, and it's very nice. I do like this, this is good. Nice spicy finish on the back end, and you can get some malt. There's a little touch of caramel malt on that as well. Really nice, I do like that, that is a good one. So what's the verdict on Fort Lapin Rouge? Um, to be honest, when I first saw this, I thought it was French from the name. Didn't know that it was from West Flanders, Bruges specifically. Um, there's very little information out there on the web, like solid information. Um, but it's a really nice beer. I wish it had been better described like a, you know, because to be honest, it's a bit unique. It's it's putting me in mind of a of a blonde and a touch of vit vit beer as well. Very similar to Bruges Zot, but I think this is slightly more drinkable. And it's really good. I can't find fault with this at all. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to give that nine and a half out of ten. The reason I'm not going to give it ten is because the information on it is so sparse. Who's that? Whoever is running the brewery needs to get a little bit more marketing. Now I know too much marketing can, you know, piss people off a bit, but I think there needs to be the website needs to be a little bit more informative. You know, just show us what's in the beer, what to expect. I had absolutely no idea whatsoever. I don't really tend to look at beer reviews before I. I review a beer just so as it doesn't falsely sort of influence me. Um, sometimes beers that people rave on about I don't like and I feel if I watch a review and they're raving on about it, it may influence me and I don't really want to do that. So that's that's just me. Anyway, that's a nine and a half out of ten. I'm going to recommend Fort Lapin Rouge as a very nice, drinkable, not too strong Belgian triple, spicy triple 
Vic Beer Cross, similar to Zot. And there you go. And remember, beer is working class champagne.